So I'm back again in Sikkim, my home away from home and a little life update. I have actually been working here with a cafe on a new design project and I can't wait to show you guys. It's one of my most ambitious and biggest projects yet and it's easily my favorite too. Coming back to our topic for today's video, design systems. In my opinion, it's one of the most fun things to work on as a designer. So a design system needs to have an end-to-end -end communication between your developers and different collaborators. So it will have Figma files for UI designers, code snippets for developers, documentations for copywriters or illustrations and different graphic elements for your brand designers. It's a lot of these different things working together to create a product. A design system is not just for digital products. It in fact has its roots deep into architecture. So it's been around for a long time. To help you better understand, I'll just pull up one of the most popular design systems called Material Design by Google. So you can see how they have defined a set of rules and guidelines on how the color needs to be used, the typography and how it should be used, and information on a ton of other things like icons, layout, spacing, etc. You can check out the full documentation if you're interested. I'll also mention a few other popular design systems towards the end of the video. So of course, these design systems are very vast and built by a team of elite designers, but it doesn't necessarily need to be this vast. A design system is an evolving living document and it's always growing and changing. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use an old design project of mine called Screwed and Brewed and build a design system around it. And the application we are going to use is Notion. Now I'm sure a lot of you already know Notion as a productivity tool, but today I'm going to show you how you can make use of it to build style guides, brand guidelines or design systems. So Notion already has a design system template and I'll use that as my starting point. Inside this workspace, there are different pages for different elements of your design system. Inside a page, you can add all the relevant information you like. This information can take many forms like text, images, videos, but also code snippets, Figma files and PDFs. Don't feel restricted to it, you can modify them to your liking. Coming back to our design system workspace, here I have typography, accessibility, color, icons, tone and voice and logos. Since we'll be focusing on only the design elements, I'll go ahead and delete accessibility and tone and voice. A great thing about Notion is that it allows you to view your database in many ways. By default, this template is built to show your content in a gallery, but you can also display it in a list or on a board where entries are grouped according to their status. So if my color panel needs update, I can drag it into the in progress section and start working on it. Since Notion is available on multiple platforms, it's very easy for me to switch between my desktop and my mobile or even my iPad when I take it out to cafes. I'll first start with colors. At the top of each page, you'll find these pieces of information called properties. This one already has four properties. To add a new property, click on add a property and select a property type. I've already gone ahead and created the assets I need to upload. Starting with the cover, I'll change it to an image of the color palette and upload the colors individually to these cards below and fill in the respective hex and RGB values for them. Just click on any of the color cards and it'll open up as a page. You can then change the cover image and the property values of that page. This way, all the information about the colors used in the system is available here. We don't need the alert panel, so I'll delete that as well. Notion also provides you the ability to embed Figma files. So I've created the color palette on Figma and I'll copy the file link and embed it here by typing forward slash embed Figma and pasting my link. You can also embed files from other apps like InVision, Framer and Miro. Just type forward slash embed to see all the embedding options. Next, moving on to the typography. Initially, I had used Gotham as my primary typeface, but I have kind of moved on from it now. I think Bebus knew it fits better since it's a condensed font and because Screwed and Brood is a bit of a long name, it's easier for it to fit in a frame in this typeface. I'm gonna upload the TTF file here so the user reading this has easy access to the font. For that, just type forward slash upload and upload the file. I'll also embed a few other links where you can purchase the entire typeface. So forward slash embed and paste your link. Alright, now moving on to the logo and icons. I can't seem to find the original vector file, so I guess I'll have to go ahead and recreate it. Hey, listen up, I've 
try to tell you this a hundred times Not getting better by lying there pretending to cry You all repeat, you can see Cause you have closed your eyes You say you listen, but you're missing what it's all about So I have a couple of variants for the logo and I'll upload them all here and briefly mention how and when each of them is supposed to be used. I have also included the respective PNG and SVG files for them on this page. Similarly, I'll upload the assets for the icons as well. So just to summarize, I have four sections in my design system workspace right now. Color, typography, icons and logos. My color page has different cards containing information on my color palette. I have also embedded Figma file for easier access to the colors. My typography page has all the relevant links and files for the typeface we are going to use. The icons page has all the PNG and SVG files for the icons. And the logo page has different variants of the logo and information on how to use them. There are a couple of more things I wanted to add on to these cards, um, mainly some logo mockups and a type scale. Let's take a quick coffee break and we'll get back to it. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we I really wanted to explain the importance of type scale, but then this video would have become way too long. So I'm gonna create a new page called resources and link some of the really helpful videos and websites that I referred to while making this video. A quick thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. You can sign up to Notion for free using the link in my description below. And if it ends up being a part of your daily routine, then you can choose to upgrade to a premium plan. I'll upload all the assets I've used to a drive folder and share the link below so you can also try recreating this on Notion by yourself. Lastly, I want to make a poster for the overall design system that easily represents its different features and aesthetics in a single image.